What's up YouTube? In today's video, I want to tell you guys my top three reasons why I drive the Scion TC right behind me. So let's get to it. Starting off with the most important thing you should look when buying a car, and that is reliability. Reliability is something you need to look extremely well into. You gotta look at the brand, you gotta look at its history and how they make their cars. Uh, Toyota builds their engines very well. They build cars to last, they build cars to go over 200,000 miles. For a Scion TC, well, the 2011 version has a Toyota Camry engine with a 2.5 liter. So you're getting a car that has power and it's reliable in a compact car like mine. Number two on my top three list, and that is room. Me, I'm 6'3", so I need a car that has leg room when I'm driving and I'm not just sitting like this on the steering wheel like a Honda Civic would because I've driven a Honda Civic and for real, I have my seal to the back and I barely have any room in there. But with my Scion TC, I don't even have the seat all the way back and I have plenty of room to be comfortable in that car. Um, as far as the back seat, the back seat is also pretty comfortable. I've sat in there a couple of times while having somebody drive me or been in my friend's Scion TC and had to sit in the back. And it's pretty uncomfortable now. It's definitely not like the front two seats, but it gets the job done. Another thing, the trunk space. The trunk space on this car is huge. Considering it is a hatchback, you can put down the seats in the back row and then you get basically like five feet of trunk space back there. So any storage, if you travel a lot, you can put luggages back there. And it's perfect for any type of situation where you need a lot of room in your car. But went down the list and this is all the way to number three and that is affordability. If you can't afford a car, that's fancy, that's popular, that's really expensive, don't buy it just to break your bank and then you're working full time, you're working overtime just because you wanna be paying that car and you wanna show off that you have a car. That's a big mistake for a lot of young people that they do. Older people do that too, but you mostly see it young people just to show off, just to show that their friends that they got a really expensive or popular car that everybody wants. You need to be able to maintain your car regarding oil changes, brake changes, and all that good stuff. For a regular oil change on my car, it cost me about 34 bucks fully synthetic. And I do that on my own with my own material. If I took it in, it cost me about 40 bucks, 40 to 55 bucks. I compared it to my brother's Volkswagen and his is about 70 to 75 dollars fully synthetic. So just a little comparison of a Volkswagen car, a German car, and a Japanese car, Scion TC. The next thing is low insurance. Now this does vary by states and this does vary by your personal driving history. For me, I think I pay close to 60 bucks a month for my Scion TC and that's fully covered. Another thing you wanna consider when looking to buy these cars is modifications. You wanna modify this car or do you wanna keep it stock? For example, my exhaust. I have a two pseudo exhaust and it costs me around $290 for a full kit, for a full exhaust system. Um, let's say for a Volkswagen, my friend GTI did some research online and an average um, exhaust for a Volkswagen GTI is from 300, no, from 500 like 50 bucks to 1,300. Like that's a huge, huge gap regarding Scion, I mean comparing Scion TCs to a Volkswagen. So there you guys go, those are my top three reasons why I chose a Scion TC, starting with reliability, the space inside the car and affordability. Now, if you can't afford a car, why spend the money and then not be able to have fun with it? At least that's the way I look at it. As a college student, as a part-time worker, this car is perfect for me. Now, a couple of days ago, I posted um, a Facebook status on this Scion TC group and I asked everybody, hey, I'm doing a video and it's gonna be regarding why I chose a Scion TC. And I asked the group basically, what are they, their options or their opinions and why they have a Scion. And just some of the comments that I received were from Michael, I hope you don't mind that I'm using one of your comments, but I'm reading it right off of Facebook right now. I don't know if it'll focus, probably not. But Michael, you said, any faster and I would get into trouble. I like the Scion burn for the concept of cheap yet quality modifications and personalizations. I wouldn't be able to agree with you anymore, Michael. That is a great, great point. If the car was any faster, I'd probably get in trouble too. I love the 185 horsepower. And maybe 
when I feel more comfortable, I will get something faster. I don't know, who knows? The money's gotta come first. And maybe in the comments below, you guys can let me know what your reasons are why you drive your specific car. It doesn't have to be a science, so any car that you have, any car that you enjoy driving, that you own, let me know in the comments below what your reasons are. And if you haven't already, please subscribe and I'll catch you guys later. See ya.